Conservation can sometimes be very rewarding, but it's very complex and it requires very talented individuals to come together, but also very passionate individuals. Ornithologist Stephen Cress is one of those individuals and he saved many birds globally now. He loves studying ocean birds and he's been studying the Atlantic puffin for more than 50 years. And that passion took him to some wonderful places and gave him some wonderful ideas. He's worked really hard to develop new methods to protect them. He's said to be one of the world's most influential seabird conservationists in the world. Atlantic puffins were exploited for their eggs, meat and feathers, so colonies were destroyed by late 1800s. Because Cress was so passionate about seabirds, he became interested in the Atlantic puffin, so it wasn't long before he gave birth to Project Puffin. The techniques that Cress developed to save puffins are now used by seabird conservationists across the globe. Cress had a theory that if he and the team could transport puffin chicks to a particular area and rear them, the chicks would develop a mental map of the island, the location, so therefore when they go out to sea, they'll return to the island, they'll return to their nest. So the pufflings were transported to the desired location and the team hand reared them in artificial burrows. This went on for four years. Unfortunately, the project didn't have much success and the puffins didn't return. So Cress had to change things and he had to consider why they weren't returning, what the problem was. So he decided to think like a puffin. Cress still had a theory that the young puffins did know how to get back to the island, so they did still have that mental map, but they weren't confident enough to return. They still didn't feel safe enough. Puffins live in colonies, and this is largely for protection from predators. So to help them feel safe, he started to place puffin decoys dotted around the island. In 1977, just days after the decoys were put in place, a puffin returned to the island. And then after some time, they started breeding. The success continued. And now currently on Eastern Egg Rock, there's nearly 200 breeding pairs of puffins. This method that Crest developed is now named social attraction and it's used globally with massive success. Obviously, it's been further developed. So scientists can use decoys like the wooden decoy puffins that Crest used, but also being used are audio, so recordings, so you have sound, mirrors, artificial burrows, anything that simulates the presence of that species to make them feel safer or attract them to that site. Project Puffin have stated that at least 42 seabird species in 14 different countries have benefited from these techniques. Project Puffin is evidence of just how much of an impact we human beings can have on wildlife and nature in general. When used correctly and compassionately, our intelligence and creativity can have a massive impact. Look at what Cress and Project Puffin have managed to achieve. Think about the impact that this project alone has had on wildlife and nature. Think about the ripple effect. There's still so much more that we need to do for seabirds, like the Atlantic Puffin. And the Atlantic Puffin is a very sensitive species, very sensitive to temperature change. So with climate change and the rise in temperatures, it means there's going to be less fish available amongst lots of other issues that it presents. So there's still lots of work that needs to be done for them. There's plenty of things that you can do to help conservation efforts. If you have a look in the description, you'll see lots of links to websites, organizations that are doing a lot of work to help puffins, including Project Puffin. Cress is still hopeful for the future for Atlantic puffins, but he's warned not to be complacent and to please help conservation efforts where you can. 
If you've enjoyed the episode today and you want to learn more about the Atlantic Puffin, please do check out my other video about the Atlantic Puffin, going into ecology, going into behavior, and looking at the threats that they face, and going into a bit more detail on what you can do for them. As usual, please do subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed the video today, and hit that bell if you want to be kept up to date with future episodes, and like if you've enjoyed. Until next time.